Hi, I'm Kieran Krishnan, your friendly neighborhood microbiologist, and this is your microbiome moment. So what is microbiome moments? Well, as you've probably heard, the microbiome is the biggest evolution in our understanding of the human form and function in most recent recorded history, right? In just the last five years, we've had over 50,000 published studies on the microbiome, each of which provided a clue as to how the human body actually functions. You may be surprised to know that you are more like a walking, talking rainforest than you are a machine. We used to think of our construct as the skeletal system that is connected with nerves and muscles and tendons and ligaments, and then uh, you know incorporated within that these organ systems like the brain and of course the stomach and the heart and so on, and then all of these organ systems coordinate with each other in order to create the form and function of the human being. Well, it's a lot more complex than that because we are inhabited by over forty trillion organisms in every square inch of our body that is more than we have human cells in our system and in fact we've got over 150 times more microbial dna in our system than we have human dna it is estimated that over 50 percent of all of the chemical and metabolic activity that goes on in our system comes from microbial DNA and microbial activity. So we are much more that walking, talking rainforest. We are a reservoir for microbes and they control so much of our health and wellness outcomes. Now the studies are showing that the vast majority of clinical and chronic illnesses can be traced back to some sort of dysfunction within your microbiome. And there's lots of research coming out fast and furious and the good news about all of it is because the microbiome is an ecological problem, there's a lot that you can do about it. There's a lot involved in your lifestyle and the choices you make that can impact your microbiome, that can impact this amazing rainforest. And what I want to do is keep you up to date and catch you up on all of that latest research. So you are empowered and you have the knowledge, you have the understanding to actually make a difference on your own. So the first topic on microbiome moments I'm gonna to take today is your immune system. One of the most important things to understand about your immune system is that your microbiome and your immune system are intimately connected. They are in many ways one and the same. And in fact, studies are really clear, like this study right here published in 2020 in Cell, showing that your immune system cannot respond to the presence of a pathogen without signals from your microbiome. So if that signal from your microbiome isn't coming, then the immune system will actually stand by and watch your cells get infected by a pathogen and not respond to it. Right? It's mind-boggling to think that your immune system that's designed to protect you against microbes actually requires signals from your resident microbes in order for it to function. Now, one of the things that we've all become really aware of is our immune function as it relates to the pandemic. So here are three important studies, most recently, that have illustrated that you can look at a signature of an individual's microbiome and use that to predict how severe of a disease process they would have when they come across this pandemic virus. That further illustrates lots and lots of other studies that have verified that your microbiome dictates your immune function. So what are some of the characteristics of a healthy microbiome that can really support your immune function? Well diversity in the microbiome, the presence of something called keystone species like Fecalum bacteria prosnitsi. This is an anaerobic organism that's sitting in your large bowel that is highly protective of the host, which is us. Um, and then also Bifidobacterium longum, which is another highly protective keystone species. And then having low levels of opportunistic and, and really kind of um, less favorable organisms seems to play a role as well. So if you have increased diversity, increased Fecalum bacteria, 
bacteria, increased bifida oblongum, and then lower levels of these opportunistic microbes, your immune system tends to function better and you can actually defend yourself a lot better. How do you get those things? Well, increasing diversity in your diet, taking the right prebiotic, taking a good probiotic that helps the diversity within your microbiome, reducing stress, which can actually increase the growth of opportunistic organisms, and then, of course, cleaning up your environment, having reduced exposure to chemical substances that can act as antibiotics or antimicrobials. For example, Roundup, right? If you're using Roundup in your garden, stop using it. If you're not eating as much organic food that you, as, you, as you can be or should be, you should increase your organic food intake because it reduces your exposure to things like pesticides that can act as antimicrobials that harm your microbiome. So that's lesson number one in microbiome moments. These studies that we've shown you actually illustrate and support the findings of dozens of other studies that your microbiome is critical to your immune function. So one of the most important things you can do right now to support your immune system is to support your gut, support your microbiome. We'll see you again for the next one.